always nice to come into a come into the gym on a Monday ready to work out. See how strong I was, I was able to do the cap on that. We do have, for those that didn't know, this is our, our barber shop. So if you are really wanting to, when you come visit Fitness Culture, you can actually set up your appointment. Go here, scan this QR code. I don't know if you guys will be able to scan a YouTube video, but try it. Barbers and merchants by appointment only. Maybe we'll have to throw this barcode on the screen so you guys can scan it. This is two bathrooms. If you haven't seen our, our gym video, I haven't done a gym video in a while, like an update. And then we, all, we have this room. This used to be the old barber shop before the barber shop expanded. So it has like mirrors and stuff. But I'm thinking either needs to be a posing room, which we would need to get totally new lights and black this all out. That would be blacked out so people couldn't see it here. Paint the walls black mirrors all around posing room or we rent this space out to massage therapists graston someone that like a rehab like deep tissue work um, cupping acupuncture someone like that so in the comments below let me know which one you guys think would be cooler to have in this gym i mean a posing room is pretty cool if it's done right but We'd have to definitely invest in some lights, black out everything. But right now, we are exactly one third of the way done with the program. So it's a 12 week stint I'm doing on the SWOL program on the Fitness Culture app. Today, I'm starting week number five. So four weeks are down, eight weeks are left. So I just kind of want to physique update with no pump. Yeah, you heard me right, no pump. Um, we'll go in there and weigh myself. Even though I weighed myself this morning, I did have a pretty big weekend of eating, I'm not gonna lie. So my morning weight of 210, probably more like 209. But my goal is to get to 220. And if I was 210 this morning, I'm halfway there, only one third of the way, but it's gonna get harder, I know that. So I actually started a meal prep program as well, or a meal prep company. So I'm getting some meals from there. So I should have a pretty good pump today, I'm thinking. Been sipping on some, some pre-workout, that's some stim-free pre-workout right now. But we're gonna go a little physique update. If this was a real physique update, I'd get down to my underwear, but I'm wearing my Calvin Klein briefs today and I actually put them on inside out this morning. Don't judge me. Harvey was up at like 4.30 this morning. So my sleep has been probably a C. Physique update though, again, really happy with the changes. We'll see today. I'm doing a chest and back day together. And so I'll be really interested to see where my bench press is at four weeks into this. I do feel like my chest has gotten a lot fuller and my lats. That's kind of been the area that, you know, I can kind of fake it with my legs and my arms. You know, even when I was 200 pounds even, if you just looked at my arms and my legs, you'd be like, oh, he's a pretty big dude. Where I lose it quickly and where I really have to work to get it back is my chest and back. I am noticing I am holding a little bit of lower body fat. Again, my goal is to stay under 12% body fat when I get to 220. The last time I got my body fat checked, which was about 10 days ago, I was 10.7. So we're gonna have to work to try to make sure we're adding lean muscle and not just overall fat. So when we did my body fat in, in the video, we noticed that, you know, like I had 180 some pounds of lean muscle mass. Eventually, I want that number to get to 200. I wanna see if it, once in my life, I can get that big. On my last leg day yesterday, I actually came in and trained legs and it was all revolving kind of around mobility in my hips because as I get bigger, I notice that injury, back injury risk goes way up. It's just, I don't have as good of range of motion in things and I need to work extra hard on mobility. So yesterday I came in, really focused on glute activation, hip mobility, getting into some nice overhead squat positions, not really sore today. And that was just an extra credit day, not on the program, it was just something that I wanted to do. So lifting right now about six days a week, kind of doing three on, taking one off, three on, taking one off. And, and so we're gonna jump into our, our workout. I'm gonna go walk 10 minutes on our new Nordic Track treadmill, and then we're gonna jump into it. I'll take off the shoes, I'm not taking off my pants. Set it to 200 pounds. Okay, I wanna show you guys this so you're not, you know I'm not lying. I'm like 213 exactly. Oh, maybe a little bit lighter. I'm probably without the pants and without the mic, closer to 212, but 213 according to that. So I, I have a couple different ways I, I warm up. Um, today, 10 minutes at a 4% incline, at a 4% speed is what I'll be doing. Just 10 minutes of it, but we got bench and back today and I'm excited for that. Come 
Come on, man. It's good energy. Monday's good energy. It's been a hell of a day. I do actually have a sister. Not my sister that has cancer right now. She's here in St. George actually visiting. My other sister had an emergency surgery on her small intestine. They removed part of it. She then, her blood pressure dropped too low after surgery. So today they did another surgery because she had internal bleeding. And so she, right now she's in the ICU. My brain's all over the place. All I know is when I don't work out, I'm a worse person. Not for just me, but for everyone else in my life. I can't operate at my best if I don't get some form of physical exertion, physical exercise. So we're going to kind of, you know, we've been upstairs all day talking business stuff kind of defining fitness culture where we want to take it some exciting stuff happening but gonna block all that out and realize that I need this time in my life this hour and a half a day not gonna be rude to people in here but headphones are going on blocking out the mind and this is going to be my hour and a half to get better let's go oh yeah my shoulders are sore Do them, come on. Don't come down on me. Whoa, that sounded weird. Feeling strong today. I think it was that pizza. Neutral grip. Yeah. I'm pretty, yeah. All the way down, all the way up. Oh, yeah. Last one. This is always one I like to do before benching because when we bench, we really want to focus on down and back with the scapula. So if I'm on the ground, you're actually going to see my chest come off the ground a little bit as I push my shoulder blades into the ground. That's the initial setup. And then we have our feet planted on the ground. Pretend I'm bending that bar and that's going to be essentially lowering it to my sternum. Some of the things I like doing is because we're retracting our shoulder blades. This is a little bit heavy. Just right here. One, two, three. All right, we got incline bench and a superset with a seated row and then two minutes rest. So chest, 30 second break, back, two minutes, back and forth. Ow, shit. Ow. <laughs> In case of the Mondays. What? Solid reps. It's still amazing. First two sets on these, just real full range of motion. All the way, all the way down, all the way back, squeezy. Two minutes rest now. So here's how I know I'm getting stronger. I knew it was gonna come back quick. When we looked at how much muscle mass I had three years ago, it was like 12 pounds more than what I was at. So I knew I've been there before. That calls for 50% on my next set of my one rep max on incline, which 50% is 137 pounds. I know I can do 137 for more than 15 reps. So I'm gonna throw on 140, I'm gonna throw on 155 and knock it out for 15. Oh, that's not 155. Don't you know I'm local? That's 185. I don't know if I'll be able to do that for 50. We'll see. It calls for 137, which again, would be 50% of my one rep max four weeks ago. But I think so, yeah, what? 
my max would have been, I guess my max was about 200 and really 260. Let's see how, I'll see how many I can do this for. 185 on the incline. Light work, baby. Light work. Sean's my buddy that's been taking a lot of money off of me lately on the golf course because with the 10 pounds I've added, my golf game has gotten shittier. So he's been taking some money off of me. Would you rather have a scratch golf game or be 215 pounds with a six pack or 220 with a six pack? I know you would. We're gonna change up the grip a little bit. Guess what? We're on to our next thing. A little muscular endurance for the back, which means pull up time. I'm actually gonna start off with a neutral bicep, which is gonna be a little bit more, oh, sorry, a neutral grip, which is gonna be a little bit more biceps, but really focusing on trying to pull it to the sternum. Definitely biceps, definitely started taking over. Supersetting those, again, 30 seconds in between with a military dumbbell press. Even the muscular endurance, muscular endurance probably even more so than the overall strength as what came back faster. Still breathing heavy though. Two minutes. Honestly, I feel like this is this workout epitomizes the swole program. We've been hitting push day, pull days on separate days, and today, this week, we actually we're throwing in a back, chest, shoulder day for just a silly swoleness. Silly swoleness is what we're gonna call this. Steve's silly swoleness. So we got key press, superset, super superset with Steve's silly swole press, superset with a cable row, and it's actually a giant set. So we got key press straight into seated cable row, superset with a lateral raise, superset with a straight rope pullover. We're about to get our pump on because all of these are 15 reps and we got two rounds. Let's go. So like Debo, that's my bike, punk. Just come over and steal your bike. 
we're going to try 70s. 70s for this first set of key press. Now key press, we're starting off in a uh, supinated position at the top, or actually, sorry, pronated position, down to a supinated position at the bottom. So we're here, supinate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Oh, that was perfect. That hurt. Over here. I'm just trying to keep my elbows tucked in here and squeezing. Don't want them out here. It's gonna work. Why do you get more rear delt and trap is gonna come into play? Keep them tucked in, squeezing to that midsection. One of these days we're gonna do a skit where we just go around. I, I gotta get to 220 first because at 210 ain't no one scared. 220, just for, just for fun. Just randomly take plates off people's exercises as they're doing things. So as he's benching, because just takes one of his but that's my play punk honestly something about these these rotating dumbbells really love them for some things but they feel heavy so we're gonna go 15 for 15. two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15. Hopefully. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. I'm not with Jim Shirk anymore. It's all good. Anything you want to say, Christian Guzman? Uh, you got to come to St. George, bro. You want Christian to come to St. George? You got to come here. Christian, I know you're going to watch this video. If, if you guys need to tag Christian in the comments below, but he'll check it out. He needs to come to St. George. Yes, sir. All right. Do you like, now you can be honest again. Yeah. I, I'm not partial to any of them. Do you like, if you had to wear Alpha Elite or Gymshark? Alpha Elite. Oh, sh that's saying something. All right, 15 reps on here. Try to take as much arms out of it and just think, use, use the big back muscles to pull it over. One, two, three, four, Another minute, and then we're doing the whole damn thing again. Today's cardio day. So we got inclined treadmill sprints, that new Nordic track. It goes all the way up to 40. We'll see how long we can hang on that today. These two guys are both plus handicapped. I, hey, just go with it. <sighs> Shit. <clears throat> Clarkston. We're gonna go 20s this time. Last set, my fucking best set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, post chest back. 
and shoulders. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna, I have a pump. I'm gonna feel like that big dude from Happy Gilmore with the nail. Like that's what I'm gonna feel like doing my sprints here. But this treadmill is insane. Can go up to 40% incline. This is Nordic Tracks Commercial X22i. This thing is an absolute beast. So when you're actually doing a workout on iFit, it's gonna adjust. It has that smart adjust, that AI coach that as I'm running up and down, it's automatically changing. That's part super cool. Or you can throw it into quick start manual mode. And today we got eight sprints, 12 seconds all out, followed up by a minute rest. And we have, like I said, eight of those. So 12 seconds all out, one minute rest, eight times through. We're gonna see, we're gonna essentially see how much of an incline I can get going on this. So first one, speed of 12, incline of six. Here we go. Not too bad. I got, I got eight rounds of this. Being as I'm over 210 pounds today, I'm no longer living in fear of getting taken away by a cougar. And I feel pretty fast today. Cool thing about, again, about this treadmill, heavy duty enough to support 210 pounds of sprinting adult male. 10% incline, 12% speed. That started getting pretty quick. Hold on, we're gonna get back on there for. It maxes it out though. When you get this high of an incline, it won't let me go faster than eight. So we'll see here if we can keep up 20% incline, half of the average steepness of Mount Everest. It's a fact. It's it's a fact. Oh, that's not bad. That's all right. It's a deep burn. Oh, jeez. I hit the, hit the strap. That was an immediate st stop. Last set here. I got 12 seconds. I've maxed out the speed at 12. Incline is at 15. It won't let me go at any more of an incline at this speed. So the minute I go more of an incline, it's gonna drop me down in speed. So I'm gonna see if I can't do 12 seconds. Five seconds more on. Three, two, one. <laughs> I do got a little bit of stretching today. All in all, that was a, a workout. Felt like old school soldier nation stuff. Appreciate you guys watching. I might go throw up in the bathroom and then be back to stretch. Love you guys.